Candice Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for May 2024. So on May 23rd, we have a pretty big day at our feet. Why do I say that, you may ask? Well, because we have two major energy shifts. The first one being the full moon in Sag, which we're going to talk about in depth and detail here. The second one is Venus moving into Gemini energy shortly after the full moon pops off. And then side note, side quest, there is a third major energy shift kind of taking place, but it's a conjunction. It's not a planet moving into a new energy. And this particular conjunction is between Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, and Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, both at the final degrees of Taurus energy. So Venus is at the final degree of her rulership. We have Jupiter kind of wrapping up this last year. Jupiter rules over the full moon in Saz that we're here to talk about, but I just need you to understand that this is pretty much a three-parter. Okay, so with that being said, if you want to do a deep dive in your own chart in this particular moon event, I am going to recommend that you join the moon guide. Um, However, If you're just, you know, comfortable with absorbing the information and, you know, collectively understanding what this is going to mean, then this particular forecast should cover just that. So let's talk about the full moon in Sagittarius. We will see the full moon in Sag pop off at two degrees, 55 minutes, which is relatively a brand new chapter for us. And it is going to reach its peak potency at 9.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, of course, the sun just shifted into Gemini energy, which means that Mercury's in his rulership. We're in a mutable season, which means that there are some adjustments needing to be made, some improvements needing to be made, that we are open and fluid to the changes that are going to be thrown at us, especially where our mental plane is concerned. The sun being in Gemini energy means that the moon is going to be in this Sag energy. Jupiter is in his rulership over Sag energy. So this is a Jupiter ruled full moon. And that's why it is super, super important to consider the fact that Venus and Jupiter have their conjunction. Basically, you can't get any luckier in love and money and being in the right place at the right time and a renewed sense of love and appreciation for yourself, for the world around you, for the people in it. There is a whole lot of good juju popping off between Venus and Jupiter prior to the full Full moon and Sag reaching its peak potency. So we have to remember that. So we have Mercury and Jupiter both in their rulership. So what does this mean? It means that there's going to be an expansion of our mental plane, of our mind space, of our thoughts, of our ideas, of our interactions of our inner dialogues. We are pushing the boundaries here and the Sag energy in particular wants to prepare us for a new quest, a new adventure, a new life lesson. So we have the Gemini energy very rooted in logic. We have Sag energy very rooted in faith. And the whole point of a full moon is to strike a balance between the sun and the moon. Logic versus faith. So this is going to be a very interesting full moon because normally full moons are about a full illumination of hidden information and details that up until this point we weren't aware of. And now that we are aware of it, it's changing our mind, it's changing the way that we feel about things and potentially changing the direction. This is the pivot point that we've been waiting for. This is the most hopeful, wishful, dreamy type of full moon that we can get, normally speaking. Full moon is a boiling over, a breaking point of emotion, if you will. It's usually a purging point, a releasing point. However, with Jupiter involved, because this is taking place in Sag, again, this is where we get the magic. This is where we get the growth, the hopes, the wishes, the dreams. This is as positive of a full moon as you could possibly get. And there's going to be some big thoughts, some big feels, because Jupiter tends to magnify and turn the volume all the way up on whatever it is that we're thinking and feeling. So we have to understand that we just came out of Taurus season. That kind of gave us a stabilized view, if you will, 
of the new lay of the land. Again, to rewind, go back to airy season, we started fresh. This new version of self came out to play. We just stabilized in this new version of self, identifying new wants, new needs, new desires that this new version of self wants. And now in Gemini season, we're looking to push the boundaries of our mental plane, of our thoughts. We're looking to expand on those particular ideas. We're going out in the world. Time is accelerating. We're looking to stimulate ourselves because our curiosity is peaked. We are bored. We're discontent with the same old, same old that the old version of self has created. And therefore, we're looking out into the world to see what is going to tickle our fancy. But the real big conflict here is, are we going to d let our physical realm dictate for us, again, intellectual plane, lower level intellect, Gemini energy, logic and practicality, are we going to allow what it is that we're currently seeing in our physical realm to dictate what is possible for us? Or are we going to open the door to manifesting, to magic, to hopes, to wishes, to dreams, to belief that something greater awaits us outside of what it is that we're able to see? That is the Sag energy. So this is what is going to kind of be triggering a full awareness on what it is that we've been missing what it is that we've been lacking, the spiritual renewing and recharging that takes place with Jupiter and Sag energy is kind of showing us that there's been something missing, the piece of the puzzle that we are looking for that is going to reveal the greater, grander picture of where it is that we're supposed to go from here, likely will be triggered and activated under this full moon. And it will take the next couple of weeks for us to fully realize and be able to articulate what that missing puzzle piece actually is. So this is is a battle and power struggle. Again, when we talk about power struggle, I want you to think about Pluto being retrograde and Aquarius energy. And again, if all this interests you, I really recommend that you join the moon guide where we do a deep dive in all these particular aspects. But the power struggle that is taking place under this full moon is the higher mind versus the lower mind. Intuition, faith, and belief versus logic, practicality, and materialism. And so we have to strike a balance. We have to find a new sweet spot. We have to really kind of, you know, do this little dance, this cha-cha-cha, and it's going to be very hard because, again, Gemini season is very dualistic, polarized. We have to find a sweet spot between allowing our heart and soul to dream a bigger dream and to trust that the universe is going to deliver us in the situation that is fully in alignment with our higher selves and our soul's potential and taking our brain with us so that we're still kind of using our thoughts, our ideas, our intellect to navigate this path moving forward. So of course, in the moon guide session, we're going to talk about the elemental energies just a little bit more in detail. But this is another Earth dominant event, which means that this has a major focus on our physical realm. It is being backed up by fire. So there is a new, I'm going to call it spark, fire, flame, new excitement, passion, inspiration, even anger, fueling the changes that need to be made in the physical realm, in that earth energy. And then we're balanced by earth and water, which means that intellect and intuition are hand in hand. It just depends on which we are giving more power, more dominancy to. So there's a lot of beautiful things happening under this full moon event. There are some beautiful conjunctions happening. We have some beautiful aspects happening. There isn't as many cons or tension points or conflict points as there normally is, which again contributes to this being the most magical, hopeful, wishful full moon that we've had in a very long time.